protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. Infowarsstore.com Brexit represents nothing less than a stunning populist revolt and a complete rejection of the political establishment. After months of endless fear-mongering and propaganda, after months of trying to shame us into voting remain, politicians, celebrities, economists, bankers, you all failed spectacularly. It's a victory for ordinary people, decent people. It's a victory against the big merchant banks, against the big businesses and against big politics and I'm proud of everybody that had the courage in the face of all the threats everything they were told they had the guts to stand up and do the right thing. Brexit is also a devastating example of how the deceitful media is losing its power to control the narrative. But don't expect the elite to take this lying down. Here's what the political class will do in response. They'll blame the next ISIS terror attack in Europe on the instability caused by Brexit. As always, it will have nothing whatsoever to do with Islam. They'll blame the popping of the financial bubble that's been totally inevitable for years anyway on Brexit. They'll then try to offer Britain a new deal to stay in the EU, or they'll just make us vote again in another referendum until they get the result they want, like they did in France, Ireland and the Netherlands. These people are snakes. Don't think the battle is won, it's only just beginning, because the political class is backed up by an army of authoritarian, anti-democratic, leftist morons thousands of whom have already signed a petition to hold another referendum. Sky News and the BBC are also floating this second referendum crap. Listen up, lefties. I know you're upset that months of virtue signalling about how progressive you are for voting for Remain on Facebook has turned out to be a total waste of time. But you lost. Get over it. Maybe you'll now finally realise that calling people racist or Nazis over and over again isn't an argument. It doesn't work anymore. I mean, look at some of the reaction. The bedwetting and the toy throwing from leftists today is delectable. Brexit is an incredibly sad victory for racists and bigots and much that is vile in the world. Oh look, another arrogant, sneering, loathsome elitist who is on the wrong side of history. Just like Obama and Hillary are on the wrong side of history. Today is like waking up to find out the Nazis won the Second World War. Yeah, that's not an overreaction at all, is it? I'm scared. Jokes aside, I'm actually scared. Today an older generation has voted to ruin the future for the younger generation. I'm scared! Oh, you mean the same older generation whose fathers fought and died to make sure you wouldn't be ruled from Germany in the first place? The fact older generations have reaped the benefits and pulled the EU from my generation? Furious! My generation wanted in. It's our time. Right, because youth unemployment in EU countries is really low, isn't it? Good to see we'll be staying in the EU. If I wake up to Nigel Farage's smiling face, I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely scared for the future? I know, right? What are we gonna do with all this new sovereignty and money? It's terrifying! But Brexit is about more than just getting out of the EU. It's about reclaiming some genuine sense of patriotism after decades of being told that we're a country whose glory days are long gone. A country that should constantly apologise for its colonial history. Constantly being derided as small-minded little Englanders. Constantly being lectured that we're racist merely for expressing concern about mass immigration. This is a rejection of the politics of fear, the politics of grief. This is a new morning for Great Britain. This is the dawn of a populist uprising. This is a catalyst for the the rest of Europe to throw off the shackles of the EU. Let's not allow the political class and the authoritarian left to hijack what we've all worked so hard to achieve. Brexit is a crushing victory for the people against the establishment. Get used to it. There are many more to come. That was a fantastic report from Paul Joseph Watson. Now you've heard what the crew has to say about this matter with the Brexit. And when it comes to politics, especially things that go on in other countries, I'm interested to hear opposing points of view because I'm always open to the fact that there may be something that I didn't take into account or maybe I'm looking at through an American glass, an American type of system, and maybe those views don't exactly match up with the people who live there on the ground. So I went to um, the interwebs and I found this article talking about British celebrities and pop culture icons reacting to the Brexit because, you know, celebrities just love to give their opinions on things. 
uh, if they think it will get them some publicity. Let's start with J.K. Rowling. She said, Scotland will seek independence now. Cameron's legacy will be breaking up two unions. Neither needed to happen. Now, once again, I don't live there. I don't know the sentiments of all the people there. But just looking at this uh, concern about Scotland seeking independence, I don't know what's wrong with seeking independence because we have it here in this country. We, we celebrate every July 4th. So maybe she's looking at this at a different angle than I am, but just the fact that somebody may seek independence doesn't really bother me that much at all. We also have Hugh Laurie. He is Dr. House. He says the first hairline crack in the plaster work. England fans will be paying 25 quid for a bottle of beer by Monday. Now, to this, uh, Leanne went out earlier today and she shot a man on the street and she was talking to some of the people and they said that uh, their currency has... Uh, deflated, I guess, is the proper terminology, and now their dollar or their euro, whatever, is worth less now than it was before. So uh, we see this continuing, and also I was watching mainstream uh, just a few minutes ago. They have the big stock market with the big red arrow going down. Was it 600 or so points? And it's bringing people to question, is this just a temporary growing pain? Is this something that's going to persist going on into the future? But many people, uh, including uh, financial analysts that we've had on this show, say that it's pretty much uh, the bankers, people in charge, trying to scare people into rethinking the action that happened here today. But like I said, only time will tell. And there's another interesting one from MKO. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but they made it on USA Today. It says, Britain, don't play yourselves. You aren't the Beyonce of the EU. Your solo career is very uncertain, basically saying that uh, you don't have what it takes. <laughs> you know, like Beyonce was in Destiny's Child, you don't have what it takes to make it solo. So there's a lot of different opinions out there. I even made a rare uh, Twitter post. We had this conversation a couple of days ago. I think it was me, Biggs, and uh, I think Marcos is back there running the board. And we were talking about how I don't post on Twitter all that much. And then Biggs told a bunch of his followers to follow me. And then I got a bunch of Biggs followers. So thank you, Rambo Biggs followers. Uh, but I sent out this tweet today. And I really just wanted to get a feeling for what people thought about the Brexit. And I said, good, bad, indifferent. You know, my post wasn't leaning one way or the other. And I guess I should have been a little more specific because I got a lot of Americans that responded, and I know they're Americans because they said that in their post. But for the few people who were in the EU, they were for it. Granted, you know, I have a lot of InfoWars followers, and they have those type of uh, viewpoints. But it's not all the type of opinions that I just read here is the point I'm trying to make to you. But we'll definitely be covering this in the coming weeks and months. Joe Biggs here with Infowars.com with an extremely important message. You're probably asking yourself right now, what's the most important phrase in America right now? Well, it happens to be Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison t-shirt today at the Infowars store for $9.95. That's half of what it used to be at $19.95. Why do you want to get this? Why should you buy this for you and your friends and family? Because number one, it's a great conversation starter. And number two, hell, you get to trigger a whole lot of crazy liberal commie bastards. And that's what I like to do. And maybe you're just at work right now and it's casual shirt Friday. And one of your hipster buddies walks in with a Hillary Clinton shirt saying I'm with her. Negative. This is what you're going to do. You're going to stand up and go, ah, Hillary for prison! Benghazi! <laughs> Point does it make? Go to InfoWarsStore.com and get your Hillary for Prison shirt today for $9.95 and trigger more assholes like him. Come on, Hillary. Just a little. Just a little sip. Open up. Come on. Take it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs>